Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, alleluia. Glory, glory, alleluia. Glory, glory, alleluia. His truth is marching on. Good morning and welcome to St. Mary on this Thursday of the 30th week of Ordinary Time. And we are called to, to remain faithful and steadfast on our mission to spreading the good news of Christ to others and to make sure that we help people on that journey. And so we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield, to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm will be, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings, 
and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the reading today, we are reminded that we are part of, of the world. And as the song we came March came uh, coming into was one that was written in the Civil War when America was at war with each other. And we hear those phrases and terminology today of it seems like a battle going on. The breastplate, the helmet, the sword. And so we're being reminded that we must be strong, that we are people of this world, that we are people of light. We are children of light who are called to go beyond this. And so we can often get caught up in the scenarios of and the ages and the times that we are in. And it's always been that way. But sometimes we feel that it's so oppressive. How can we win? How can we overcome the evil that is in the world? How can we overcome the powers of the world that seem to want to quelch us? Who wants to subdue us. And so we are reminded that it's all about Jesus. Because we hear, in, as the Pharisees came to warn him, get out of town, get out of town, Herod's looking out for you. But what did he say? I will be healing people today. I will be healing people tomorrow. I'll be pe preaching the word. And on that third day, I will have accomplished my mission, which meant dying on a cross for us asking his Father to forgive us for what we do, because we do not know. And so he's that example for us, that we must die in many ways in, in the world. But we are people in the world. We are, because Jesus was also in this world, he knows what we're going through. And so we're called to take all our burdens, to take all our problems, to take when, when it seems like everything is on our shoulders, the decisions that get made in our political lives, as a country, we sometimes get felt so weighed down by it all that it seems, what's the point? But we have to remember, we see a very narrow point of time, but God sees everything at once. And so it's his doing, it's his church, it's his world. 
as he said, I made everything good. And so he will help get things back to the good. And that's how he uses us. As we, sit, as we know we are the light in the world, we are to call to take out that love, that mercy and the forgiveness that has been given to us, unmerited, undeserved. We are called to give that away to our spouses, to our children, to our parents, to our neighbors, to those who are struggling under all different types of addictions and oppressions. We are called to be that light of Christ. So where can we be put on the armor and the helmet and the sword to be able to help lead others to Christ? And that is our mission. As we go through trampling out the graves of wrath, as we come, we know that the glory of God is at hand and his truth will march on. Let us stand for our petitions. During this month of Respect Life, we remember the sacredness of all life, from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray all those who are suffering of illness, of oppression, of addictions, that they may be open to receive the healing touch of God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are sick with the coronavirus, for all illnesses that we may know that we are in God's hands, that he loves and will protect us. We pray to the Lord. In a special way, we pray for those who are sick in our community, who have asked for our prayers, for Mary Ducharme, for Ann Pioli, for Jane Simmons, and for all the names and intentions that have been placed in the Book of the Sick. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died and for those who will die today. That they may see the face of God, we pray to the Lord. And we pray all those prayers in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. We also pray for the intentions for this Mass. For Pierre, Carmelita, and Linda, Jean-Paul, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you give us our mission to go out through all the world preaching the good news. Give us the strength and the armor and the sword and the helmet and the sandals that we need to go out and do your mission. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea. With the glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make us holy, let us die that we be free while God is marching on. Glory, glory.
It's true.